Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can find flags in Daisy 1.09 and beyond. And after I've shown you the locations of where flags will be, I'm then going to go into a little bit more back detail about the XML files. So let's get let's dive straight in. So as you probably already know, if you build a flagpole and you put a flag on it, that will then stop items despawning within 60 meters of that flag. Really cool for keeping your base there and all the bits around your base. But where are they? Now, flags have two categories attached to them. They have office and school. However, everything that's got an office and a school category isn't necessarily an office or a school. So to start off with, let's have a look at school. And these are the different um, places that are categorized as school that could have flags inside them. General store, the pub, school, abandoned transit bus, the abandoned Ada blue, abandoned Ada green, and the abandoned Ada white. So that's the general store. You know, it's the one that's got like the um, cash register in it, a few shelves, and there's just a couple of storage rooms at the back. So check that out. Um, the pubs, they're classed as a school. I don't know. <laughs> they obviously do things a little bit differently in Chernerus. So have a good, good look around in those. And obviously the school. Now the school's an interesting one because normally you never find hardly anything inside schools. There, there's never really a reason to go inside, but now you might find a flag. The bus, the wrecked buses that you find around uh, Chernerus, check them out, they could have flags in. And then you've then got the uh, ab the uh, abandoned aiders as well. So, um, the next category that flags are found under is offices, which includes the small office, the large office, the city hall, and the abandoned transit bus. So, that's what the office uh, buildings look like. Um, I think the small office buildings are actually like the schools. I think yeah um, there's the school um, as I say sometimes classed as a small office building there's um, town hall we all know what they look like and then you've got the bus again now what you can do is you can use this information with like the I survive map you know just do a Google search for Daisy map uh, I Z U R V I V E and you could go to the loot and you could go down here and you could make sure everything was unticked apart from things like bar um, general store school in fact, so if you did something like that if you if you unticked that and then went down now some of these things aren't going to be the right ones but you would have office ticked bar general store school there we go, and then aid as we said, didn't we as well? And then if we zoom in, so we go to somewhere like Chernogorsk, you've got potential places where you might find flags. Some of these bars aren't going to be the correct bars; they're going to be the little ones, you know, the ones that like French cafe bars. Um, but it'll give you a good, give you a good starting point. Actually, was there also the no, the bus isn't there, is it? But you know, as you're wandering around towns, you know, I'm wandering around China, you find this stuff anyway. So there we go. That's how you find flags in Daisy 1.9 and beyond. Look in places that are classed as offices and look in places that are classed as schools. As I say, they include the shop, the village pub, the school, the transit bus wrecked, the aiders. And then you've got the large offices, schools again, the um, fill it, uh, town halls, and then the bus again. Cool. So crack on and uh, find them. So how, how do we know this? Well, if you're into modding and uh, you'll know what a types.xml file is. So this is the file that tells the game on PC, PlayStation, or or Xbox um, about the items that it should spawn into the world. So here we go. So let's start at the flat top of the flags. Where have we got flag flower. Here we go. So um, let's take the first one that actually spawns in. So the baby deer flag R. So there should be two of these flags that spawn in any one time. Um, it you count them on the map that's the only place you count them so as players pick them up and store them they won't be counted so you can end up with a, a lot more to basically as soon as, as soon as somebody picks one up um, then another one will spawn pretty shortly after and here we have the category name is tools 
um, and the usage name is office and school. So that's kind of we know where, where they're going to spawn in. Now what's interesting as well is if you're interested in modding the flags, obviously you could increase the numbers if you wanted to. But some flags, uh, and this is the Chernerus file, and it will be different for the Livonia file, aren't tagged to flag in, to, to spawn in, sorry. So the bear flag uh, isn't tagged to spawn in. Uh, the brains flag isn't. And then I think there's a couple that relate to Livonia as well, down the bottom. Yeah, flag Livonia, obviously being the Chernerus map, this isn't. And the Livonian army and the Livonian police aren't designed to... to, to spawn in now these ones that aren't spawned in at the top like the brains one and the bear one they might not they might not exist so they might not be actually in the game yet but you can have a play around you could try and spawn them in like to the back of a vehicle or something something like that so there we go hopefully that's useful hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea about where to find the flags and uh, if you want to mod them know what you want to increase um anyway so there we go so if you found the vi video useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon